let's talk about the truth. The truth about being a full-time artist, and it's not what you think. Most people think of the glam squad and the bright lights and being on stage, but truly, being a full-time working artist, performing artist, singer, actor, dancer, musician, etc., is not always glamorous, and the paths to income are not always through your performing. So that's what we're going to talk about in today's video. The reality on your path to being a full-time performer is likely to be a lot of struggle, hard work, and low-paid jobs. But even those performers at the very top of their game also are not performing full-time. So your idea of what a full-time performer looks like may be actually different than the reality. Let's dive in. Hi, I'm Fiona and I help performing artists to master online business so you can make more money from your art without burning out or wasting time. I've been a working performing artist for over 30 years and most of that time I was making my living through music. And what that looked like for me was a lot of performing on stage and also a lot of other things which we're going to get into in a minute. But first of all, let's define what it means to be a full-time performing artist in the first place. Does that mean making all of your money from performing? Does it mean making all of your money in music, in acting, in somehow something related to your genre? Does it mean not having a day job? Does it mean spending all of your time immersed in the arts? Does it mean creative satisfaction or does it mean fame and fortune or does it mean both? Can it mean both? Does it mean being a working singer or a working actor or dancer or musician. What does being full time actually mean and look like to you? Because here's what it looked like for me. Lots of different seasons that had lots of different focuses. So if I was in a long run of a show, then most of my attention was going into that show, right? But then there were seasons when I wasn't in a show. So how was I making money then? I was usually teaching or I was putting on my own concerts. I was building a business. I was not waiting for the next theater contract. Because if you're waiting for contracts, if you're waiting for venues or labels or managers or gatekeepers or whatever to give you the opportunities, then it's very difficult to be full time. It really requires you to start thinking like an entrepreneur and creating opportunities for yourself. This is definitely what being full-time meant to me. So very quickly in my own career, I dumped the day job and I really was full-time in my business as an artist. But like I was saying, that involved my concerts, it involved gigging, it involved Christmas caroling, it involved teaching at universities, it involved teaching in my own studio, it involved theater contracts, etc. So let's talk about some very obvious paths to being full-time that you're probably thinking about. One of them is to be a series regular on a TV show, right? That definitely feels like full-time income, full-time immersion, and it is. The only problem with that path is that you're not guaranteed for a second season, and you're not guaranteed that if it doesn't go for a second or a third season that you're gonna become a series regular on something else. So while becoming a series regular is the dream for so many actors, it doesn't mean that that's the end. And if you had more of your own business to support you in between being a series regular, then that would be really awesome, right? And then what about being a quote unquote working actor or working in the theater? Well, I gotta tell you that I have got a very good friend who was performing like crazy in 2021 and was in all of these top shows having good guest star and co-star roles and still didn't qualify for health insurance. So you can be a working actor and not qualify for the health insurance through your union. Or let's say you were with the Met Opera Chorus, and that's another pathway to being full-time in your art form, right? But during the pandemic, you were let go. Same with the instrumentalists at all the opera companies all over the world. Suddenly, your full-time gig was just gone. So even in these more quote-unquote traditional-looking pathways to being full-time, it's not a guarantee for long-term security. 
Okay, so here are a couple more possibilities for going full time as a performer. How about being a stunt performer? But again, it's like, do you have the regular work? And maybe you do, that's great. Is your safety, even in those top Hollywood movies, fully being considered. You could be working at an amusement park, which is really great full-time work, except that the pay is not so great and is really long hours, right? You can also be a full-time extra or background actor in the movies, and that can often be a really great way to being full-time and having full income. So all of these paths are good paths to be full-time, except that they have their different challenges, their upsides and their downsides, right? So let's try a whole other route. Let's go full time, but not be performing. That looks like being a teacher or a coach, right? Lots of people go full time as singing teachers, dance teachers, acting coaches, etc. guitar, piano, whatever it is that you specialize in, you could be going full time in that. And that would be full time as an artist, right? But the only problem with that route for a lot of us is that you're not performing enough, which is why for myself, like I said at the beginning, I was always running this sort of dual path of performing and teaching coaching. They were always happening at the same time. And once I made peace with the fact that I actually do feel called to teach while also feeling called to perform and that I did not have to choose one over the other, things started to be pretty cool for me. And I've got a whole playlist of videos here about getting started with your teaching if you're interested. And then another whole option of being all in with your performing is to start your own theater company. And then you're creating jobs for other performers as well as for yourself. And why stop there? Why not create a full production company where you can do whatever it is that you like to do? Singing, acting, theater, film, dance. But here is my main point, and this is what I really, really, really want you to take away from this video. Diversified income. This is the holy grail. Diversified income. You can do a combination of all of these things. And even if you are blessed to become a series regular, or you start starring in movies, or you start selling out stadiums, you are always going to want to have that diversified income. So what if instead of waiting to be discovered and have that big break and then start diversifying your income, What if you started diversifying your income now? Because let's face it, Rihanna sang for free at the Super Bowl strategically because that is the top of her funnel to all of her paid offers. Beyonce and Rihanna both have got clothing deals, brand deals, sponsorships, clothing lines, clothing and beauty lines, production companies. Beyonce had a massive deal with Netflix. They are not making the majority of their money on the actual stage. That is the top of their funnel. That is how they get creative satisfaction and introduce thousands, millions to all their other offers. Reese Witherspoon is another great example. She started the production company Hello Sunshine to focus on women-driven dramas like Little Fires Everywhere and Big Little Lies. And in 2012, she sold that company for over $900 million. She also has a whole clothing company with even boutique shops called Draper James after her grandparents. And she's still performing in movies. I saw one just the other day starring with Ashton Kutcher. And how about Oprah? Oprah was an actor broadcaster first before she started her empire, but she made the decision not to be dependent upon others to give her work and instead didn't just create a magazine, she created a whole network on top of everything else she does as an entrepreneur. So let's learn from these famous women and understand that being a full-time artist actually means being a full-time entrepreneur. Are you with me? I hope this video was helpful, and if you did like it, I encourage you to subscribe to the channel. Let me know in the comments what other topics you'd like me to cover. Definitely follow me on Instagram and hop on over to my free Facebook community where I cover lots more mindset marketing and monetization for performing artists. Now, you know what's often really challenging for artists at this stage? It's like, I'm an artist. This is what you're thinking. I don't want to have to do the tech. I don't want to have to do the social media. I don't want to have to become an entrepreneur or a business focused artist. And I just got to say, stop right there and watch this video next all about 
developing that business mindset you really do need in order to be a successful artist in the internet age. Now go out into the world and let your light shine. You deserve to be heard and the world deserves to hear you.